Hey everybody, just back with another video. I just, um, I'm sure you guys heard uh, about this where Bill Maher went on Megyn Kelly's podcast and I'm not going to play the whole thing. Uh, it's a very long uh, podcast, but I'm going to play this short clip that I found and uh, yeah, let's just say it didn't go very well for Bill Maher. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual. I don't know what could possibly be more fundamental to you or anyone than you have to concede elections. And he hasn't conceded the last one. He's plainly not going to concede this one. He now has all of his sycophants around him parroting his party line, which is when they, when they ask them, will you uh, abide by the election results? Uh, yes, if it's a free and fair election, which is another way of saying if we win. Mm -hmm. Do you really think this is a place this country should be? I'm not going to defend the election denialism. I'm not one of those people who but believes that. What's more that. important? What, what kind of country do we have? How we... about my daughter not going into a locker room and seeing a man's penis? That's important, too. I'm talking about the difference between this and something fundamental, which is our democracy. The fact that you have to respect who wins an election or else you don't have the kind of country we've always had before. How about... I mean, I feel like we keep going around the Rosemary bush about this and we're not going to make any progress so let's stop talking about it but uh, you know uh, i just i mean you you keep saying sort of i'm nuts because i don't see the difference between the elephant and the mouse and i'm telling you i identify them differently than you do hillary clinton of course is the original election denier i'm sure you voted for her in 16 well she's not an election denier she, she absolutely was the og election denier she first of all she came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate. Yeah. She, oh, she came out before the sun went down. Um, well, the election that year was only one day. See, after day one of the last election, Trump was actually winning. So why would he concede then, Bill? That election took, what, three or four days to figure out? Remember when Michigan and I think Wisconsin and Georgia all flipped blue overnight? So we couldn't concede after before the sun went down. And like Megyn Kelly said, no, uh, he uh, she conceded, but then she spent the next four years saying that he was illegitimate. Oh, Bill Maher, I don't know. I mean, I agree with some of the stuff he says, but sometimes it's just like, what? Anyway, we'll finish watching this and then I'll talk about the rest. Intimate president. She, okay, well, first of all, saying so, she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, she well, did. You tell me exactly what she said. She said those exact words repeatedly. Okay. Uh, I mean, you only get two choices. That's right. You get Donald Trump, a criminal uh, election denier who is going to transform this country into an authoritarian place like we've never seen before. Or, or you get Joe Biden with all his flaws. Also a criminal. Corrupt. Okay. What, what is his crime again? The special counsel Robert Hur said he committed felonies, but he wouldn't indict him because he was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. He couldn't get a conviction in front of a jury. And, and what was that crime? That was the... Uh... Classified documents. All over his basement, his garage, everywhere. Well, okay. Here's the difference. Immediately... Biden, he shouldn't have had them. Immediately he said, oh, sorry, my bad, and gave them back. That's why he Trump didn't get charged said, with obstruction. But Trump, Sir Trump has two classified documents, pieces to his case. One is you had them, and the second is you obstructed justice when we demanded them back. So, okay, against Biden, you don't get charged with obstruction. But number one, where's the, where's the classified documents charged against him? He's also a felon. You got your story. You know, I, 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 I look. Why can't the difference be one actually had the ability to declassify documents and keep them because he'd been the president and one didn't because yes, he should have mind. been looking at documents only in a skiff while a sitting u.s senator and clearly he stole classified documents that he wasn't entitled to and never had the ability to declassify them yeah uh maybe you know more about that than i do i don't remember that part of it and i i always don't trust anything i hear until i that it from the other side because everybody sort of has their one-sided view of it and narrative is more important than truth. I know this is the right-wing narrative. I thought I'm you not were... like that, Bill. I, I, I care about facts. I practiced law for 10 years. I want to get the cases right more than I want to okay. get clicks. And I have a lot of lefties who watch me. So I'm not like that. All I can tell... Okay, that is enough of that. So anyway, first of all, I love when liberals talk about democracy. 
Trump's going to take away democracy and we need to defend democracy from an evil fascist. It's like, guys, you can't really take away America's democracy when America is not a democracy in the first place. It's very important that people understand that, but a lot of people don't seem to. Um, and then again, you know, Hillary Clinton, oh, she's you know, she at least conceded the election. Yeah, and then made up conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory about it. And eight years later, these idiots still believe it. It, it doesn't make any sense. When you deny an election from a conservative standpoint, you're a right-wing conspiracy theorist. But when you do it from the left, which Hillary Clinton is not even on the left, but she pretends to be, it's just fine. It's not a conspiracy theorist. None of those 20 House members who also did not want to certify the election in 2016, they weren't conspiracy theorists. Russia Gay was true. The Steele dossier was true. All this, it's, it's nonsense. It, it's just, it's, and I can't believe that because Bill Maher isn't stupid. Sometimes he is, but he's so smart most of the time and can at least hold a conversation with people who disagree with him. But this is just, I mean, he's out of his mind. I mean, ugh. I don't get the, the Trump derangement syndrome. Like, how did you believe all that stuff? To, to And I know that they've had their personal issues, and I think that's really why uh, Bill Burr, sorry, sorry, Bill Burr, uh, why Bill Maher uh, doesn't like him so much. But now he's just believing all the lies that Hillary Clinton admitted it was a lie. Uh, you know, And the next thing that, you know, they were talking about, you know, Trump's a felony, so is Biden. And by the way, I, I can, another way that you can compare how they're both felons is their war crimes. Except Biden's worse because Ukraine. Trump didn't start any new wars. The U.S. and NATO started this one. Or at least they provoked it. Trump, did, Trump didn't do that. Trump didn't end any wars, to be fair to Biden, but Biden ended that war horribly. Essentially funding a terrorist group. With our weapons. Makes a lot of sense, right? I mean... Yeah, it's... It's crazy, too. And, you know, like, Bill Maher also likes to talk about how he likes to vet and he does his research. Bill Burr was on his was on Bill Maher's podcast and told Bill Maher right to his face, you don't know shit. I mean, he roasted him for, like, seven minutes straight. It was hilarious. But he's right. Bill Maher knows what he knows and he doesn't seem to want to learn anything else. I can't imagine how, how many more times he embarrassed himself. Maybe I'll have to watch the whole thing again and then see if there's other, if I can maybe clip it up. But it's just, it, it's wild how someone who is intelligent like Bill Maher can just be so absolutely stupid sometimes. So anyway, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, thanks again so much for watching. I'll be back shortly with another video. And I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.